It's common knowledge that Shopify is a leading e-commerce platform, but is it any good for driving organic traffic from Google? Well, the simple answer is yes, when done correctly through blogging and SEO. So today I'm gonna to share how you can simply set up, create and optimize blog content on your Shopify store so that you can get discovered on Google and ultimately drive more sales. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into this brief Shopify tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. Okay, so with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and launch into this blogging for Shopify tutorial. Okay, so to get started, simply head over to your Shopify store and sign in. Now, if you're yet to get started with Shopify, you're completely new to Shopify, then what I'll do is add a link down below in the description to get you started. I'll also add a full tutorial that will help you set up, create and start selling using Shopify. So again, if you're completely new to Shopify, go ahead and check out that tutorial. Okay, so once you've logged into Shopify, simply navigate over to your online store over on the left hand side and then locate blog post and then click here. As you can see, this Shopify store currently has no blogs. So what I'm going to do is navigate over to create blog post. Now, depending on the Shopify theme that you use to build your Shopify store, your blog posts on the front end are going to look slightly different. However, the back end is exactly the same for everyone. First, what you want to do is go ahead and name your blog. And as you can see, this is the title of the blog post that I want to create. Sheetify CRM 4.0 is here. Our best Google Sheets CRM template is live. Now you want to make sure that you're adding keywords into your title. For me, that's Sheetify CRM. This is the name of our product, as well as best Google Sheets CRM template. This is a long tailed keyword that I want to target, as well as just best Google Sheets CRM. So you want to make sure that you're adding two to three keywords inside your title and your content down here should be built around your title and the keywords that you're using. And this is all about SEO, search engine optimization, which is all about ranking your blog posts or website pages or product pages on the first page of Google search. Essentially, the more optimized your blog posts are, the higher that your blog posts are going to rank on Google and other search engines. Now, if you want to dive deeper into SEO for Shopify stores, then what I'll do is add a SEO tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you optimize your Shopify store, your product pages, as well as your website pages for SEO. So go ahead and check out that after this tutorial. Now, once you've made any changes, simply navigate up to save. Then navigate down and make sure that the visibility is hidden for now. Then we can make this blog post visible or we can set a visibility date. Now what we're going to do is come down and add a featured image. And here's the featured image that I want to use. To create an image like this, you can simply use Canva to create a featured image. Now once you've uploaded your featured image, simply click here and then add the image alt text. Again, this is going to help with SEO search engine optimization. For this featured image alt text, ideally what you want to do is add the title of your blog post as the image alt text. Then come down and click on save. Then navigate up to content and add the content of your blog post. I'm going to quickly go ahead and add my content and then navigate through what I've added. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly added and formatted my content on this blog post. If we navigate up to the top, as you can see here, we have a header to text. Now your title is always a header one text. Now down here we have paragraph content. And as you can see, we added a link in here and you can do that by simply navigating over to these three dots and then clicking insert link. If we navigate down here, you can see that we have another section and this is a heading three. And then below that we have bullet points, which are paragraph content. If we come down, you can see we have paragraph here. So the structure is important. We have header one, header two, then we have subsections of our content, header three, then paragraph content, header three, and then more paragraph content. We have an image and header three and more content down here. Now, as you can see, we have an image in here. To add an image, what we can do is simply click in the position that you want to add an image, then navigate over to these three dots and you can choose to insert a video or image. I'm going to add an image. Here you can simply select an image from your library or you can upload a new image. For now, I'm just going to upload this image. Now with each of the images that you've added, you can simply resize the image if you like. I'm going to drag this out 
and then double click on the image and then click here and then select wallpaper. Then we want to add the image alt text. Again, you essentially want to describe this image. Then down here, you can choose the alignment and this option here. I'm gonna come down and click on edit image and then navigate down. You can see that this image is huge. So I'm going to make it smaller and smaller again and then drag it out. I'm happy with that. Now let's come down and then double click on this image to ensure that the image sizing is correct and the alt text is correct. I'm happy with that. And again, you wanna play with your content as well as the images and videos that you're adding inside your blog post. Again, once you've made any changes, go ahead and click on save. Now let's navigate down further and under organization, here you want to select your author, that is me, then choose the blog. At the moment we have news. However, you can create a new blog if you like. This could be updates or you could call it blog. You can call your blog anything that you like. I'm gonna keep news for now and then add tags to help you organize your content. I'm just going to add Sheetify CRM 4.0 and then hit add. I'm also going to add digital product and you can add additional tags if you like and then come down to online store theme template. Ideally, you want to keep your blog templates the same. However, you can create additional blog templates if you like and I'll show you how to do this shortly. Then here, what we wanna do is add a brief summary, click here. And it's best to keep this as basic text, then navigate down to edit website SEO. Make sure the page title is the same as your page title. And then down here, you can customize the description. I want to remove some of these funny text formatting, this formatting too, and I'm happy with this description. And this content here, page title, description, the URL and handle will appear in search engines inside of Google search. You can also edit the URL down here if you like, but I'm going to keep that as it is and then click on save. Let's navigate back up to the top and then click on preview. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM M down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And this is where we can preview what this blog post looks like. Now we can make a few more changes on the front end. You can see that this featured image is not responsive. To do that, head back inside your Shopify dashboard and then navigate over to online store and then navigate over to customize. Now what we can do is navigate up to home page and then navigate down to blog posts and then click on this default blog post. And remember this featured image is not responsive. So what we're gonna do is navigate over to featured image and then click here and then adapt to image. And I'm happy with that, navigate back. Then what we can do is navigate down the page. I'm happy with all this content here. However, what we wanna do is add more content down here below this blog. And to do that, what we're gonna do is click on add section and then click on featured product. Navigate up to select product. And here you can choose your product. For me, I'm going to select this product here and click on select. Then navigate back. You can also make further changes down here if you like. And what I'm gonna do is drag this section, this featured image above this subscribe to our emails. So as you can see below the blog post, we now have this section here. So essentially what we're doing is we're tidying up the default blog post. So every time we create a new post, a new blog post, and we select this template here, which we can rename if we like, the blog post will have this content down here too. You can also navigate down again, click on add section, and we can add any of these other options if we like. But I'm happy with this structure, this default blog post layout for now. Once you've made any changes, go ahead and click on save. Okay, so let's exit out of this and then navigate over to blog posts and then click on this blog post that we created and then click on preview. And as you can see, this image is a lot more responsive. If we navigate through the blog post, you can see that we have this featured product down here and then our footer section down here. Okay, so let's navigate back. And when you're ready to publish your post, simply click on visible and then click on save. Now, at the moment, we do not have a blog on our website. So we've created this blog and we've published the blog, but we do not have a blog section on our website. To add that, what we can do is navigate over to navigation, then click on main menu. And these are our current menu items. What I can do is click on add menu item, navigate up here and type in news. And remember, this could be anything. It could be blog updates or anything else that you want to name your blogs. Then come down and search or paste a link. I'm going to come down and click on blogs and then link news. 
and then click on Add and then Save. Now let's jump onto the front end of our website to see what our blog looks like. As you can see in our primary menu, we now have Home, Digital Products, Book Reviews, Contact, and we now have News. If I click on News, that's gonna take us to our blog section. And the website visitor can now search for all our blogs. At the moment, we only have one blog. If I click here, they can then go ahead and read that blog. Okay, so let's navigate back to the back end of our Shopify store. And you can rearrange these items if you like. For example, I could put News over here or keep it where it was. Now, what I can also do is navigate over to Online Store and then click on Customize again. And as you can see, I'm currently on the home page, but what I can do is navigate to a different page if I like. Now, if I navigate down here, what I can do is simply add a new section. For example, if we navigate down and click on add new section, I can navigate up to blog posts and add this. And I now have this blog post section. I can choose to show the number of blogs. If I select two and navigate over here and change that column to two, I now have a blog post section of my most recent post. And again, I can head back and I can drag this section and I can place it anywhere on my website pages. So I'm going to add that here. And what you wanna do is create blogs on a regular basis. Ideally, you want to create one to two posts per week, and this is going to add new and fresh content to your website. This will ultimately increase your SEO, search engine optimization, and help your website, your website pages, blog posts, and product pages rank higher on Google search. Again, like I mentioned, if you wanna learn more about SEO, search engine optimization for Shopify stores, then that's the next tutorial that I recommend you check out. I will link that up above and down below in the description. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Shopify blog tutorial for beginners. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Shopify tutorial showing you how you can drive more organic traffic and ultimately drive more sales by blogging inside Shopify. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.